Hey guys, uh, this is AJ. Um, this is my next episode. Uh, today I'm gonna change the uh, brake valve. They call it the modulator also, ABS modulator. This one is located right underneath the fifth wheel. All right, so right here. All right, um, this one um, probably rarely ever goes bad. That's what I've been told, but um, uh, I had a problem before. Uh, um, it stopped me uh, in uh, in the middle of the nowhere in the desert area uh, in Nevada. I was down for 14 hours, so um, we did a lot of troubleshooting. I was uh, losing the excessive air. Um, we checked the chambers, brake chambers, uh, every everywhere. Uh, front valve, the brake valve, everything. Um, the, uh, none of them were faulty. So um, this one was uh, releasing the lots of air. So they said uh, that's usually because um, your uh, the brake chamber is um, um, uh, not working properly. So then I called to the mechanic and came like a 150 miles away he was uh, nobody was around lucky me um, that my phone was r working so it was pretty hot outside also I mean not to make a dramatic situation but uh, that's what it was and my wife and I we got underneath and uh, you know it was terrible crazy shit but um, then uh, we got into this um, the bypass valve uh, this bypass valve uh, was um, was not working right, and uh, he got to the uh, he went to the the mechanic went to the junkyard and he got it actually the brand new one, and also he brought the the old one um, the old valve, um, but it was not the valve, but what I did was um, I opened the cover, and uh, that was the lot of dust and um, rocks inside I don't know how this one got into it um, anyway I closed it as much I could um, to tied it up but um, looks like um, uh, the seals uh, was not good um, and uh, uh, when I would uh, press the brake pedal um, this one would licking the air but before if I would release the brakes that's when it was um, the losing the lots of air, not when I would apply the brakes. So, um, but I might as well, I replaced this one, uh, this uh, bypass valve, and uh, it stopped leaking uh, when I would release the brakes. And uh, this one now, uh, I got the brand new one from the Freightliner, it was uh, $402. Um, not, well, it's not that expensive and uh, I'm gonna replace that just a second. I'm gonna replace that um, because uh, actually um, I have a problem the modulator does not open on time when you turn the ignition on position modulator comes on like uh, two minutes later sometimes and uh, it messes up the mitigation system which is the cruise adaptive cruise control so um, I'm going to replace that and see if it's going to make any difference, but at least this one will uh, fix the leaking problem, air leaking problem, probably the diaphra uh, di diaphragm or I don't know how you say that, um, and uh, seal, I couldn't find a seal, so might as well just replace it and uh, that's what I'm doing right now. So I'm going to pause it or stop it and we'll resume and I put it back on. Yeah, the, this one has the only two screws, uh, uh, the bolts right here, here and here. These are um, socket 13 millimeter, so you can know, uh, and uh, that's what it uh, gets mounted on the frame. And then you uh, follow the lines. Um, now I need to... Uh, I need to remove this, use the Teflon tape, and uh, put it them back together um, on the new one. So it should not be hard. I'm gonna be able to do it myself. All right.
bye for now. Okay, um, I put it back, the new one, and uh, I'm gonna do some testing now. Let's see how it's gonna perform.